If you're a photographer or videographer, you probably have heard of this brand called Peak Design. They were famous on Kickstarter and the products are highly priced. What's going on guys, this is Mel Compson and I'm here to tell you today why I'm not digging this Peak Design Everyday Backpack 20 liters version. Let's go. Before I got into this love-hate relationship, I'm gonna tell you why, what are the reasons I brought this backpack. First, that it doesn't really look like camera bag. It's sleek design and it's protective. It's got padding and waterproofing and the quick access. I'm gonna tell you more about the quick access and protectiveness of this bag in a minute. Of course, it looks good on paper, but in practicality, huh. I'm not gonna do a full review of why this bag is good. There's probably hundreds of videos talking about that already on YouTube, but I'll tell you why I find this bag bad for me. Just wanna inform you guys, just in case you are looking into buying one of these. Okay, let's get to the point. Why is this bag bad for me, in my opinion? First, thin straps. They hurt, they dig deep into your shoulders, or at least mine shoulders. Two, limiting shelf system. Three, it looks like it can fit so much in this bag, but you should never ever pack to its maximum capacity. Number four, quick access, not really that quick. Five, want the proofing? Not really. Let me break down each point. First point, thin straps. Self-explanatory, they're thin, they hurt. Let's go to number two. Limiting shell system. This is the shell that they advertise can protect the lens, which they do, but in the same time, they call this backpack everyday backpack. Now, if you think about everyday activities, you're probably gonna carry, what, a charger for your phone, your sunglasses, wallet, if you're one of those people who don't carry wallet in your pants pocket. Okay, let's say I wanna pack my sunglasses into the backpack. Here's the shelf in the backpack. When I carry it, it takes up the whole shelf. No matter which way I put it. Still not enough space and a lot of wasted space. This is gonna bump into whatever I put in the side of my backpack. Let me show you what it looks like from the inside. Now, people might say, what the hell, milk? You just put it in the smallest compartment. I feel like this bag is specially designed for lenses only. Not even talking about cameras, lenses. Unless you're using like small, mirrorless cameras like I myself I'm using my crossover I'm shooting with the GH5 right now and my camera is still too big to fit inside now just to make you see the picture here's inside the bag they give you three of the shelves look I even put one down at the bottom one more right here and the only available space to attach the velcro shelf in the backpack is this this is the highest you can go if you want to go further there's no more space no more velcro to attach to so what i found out is the backpack design and the shelf system that they give us is not optimally designed to support each other yeah it looks so good on the site on Kickstarter on paper, but in practicality, nah. And some people might say, Well, Milk, if you want to fit so much more, why don't you use the top compartment? Bitch, look. The top compartment is designed to securely close when the inside stuffing is full, because if it's not full, and like I showed you, in the top compartment, there's no way to attach the shelf 
because there's no velcro to attach to. So the only thing you can fit in the top compartment is the stuff. You don't care about it getting bumped. Okay, that's the flaw about the limiting shelf system. The next flaw, number three, is this bag fits so much, but you should never pack much. Let me break it down. What happens if you pack so much and use every compartment in this bag? Quick access that is not really quick. Let me show you. Let's say, okay, in the real life situation, you probably have a camera around your neck, right? You wanna change the lens and you have to juice up all the spaces, all the compartments in your backpack. But you wanna use this lens that you kept in the middle compartment. What you do is, you take one arm out, you sling, open up the bag. You wanna get, you wanna get the lens in the middle compartment. So whatever lens you have here, it's gonna be out of the way first. Okay, I've got my camera, got my lens. Now I gotta take the lens I want to get out which was in the middle compartment put the lens that was in the way back to wherever that space now you gotta change the lens right now what you do is this you see you're risking many things it looks awkward now you have nowhere to place the lens. You risk getting the dust in the lens. Oh. It's not really that quick. If you want to make it safe. Okay, let's switch the lens back. If you want to make it safe. Take this out first. Close the back. So you don't risk dropping any lens from your back. Why not you got this situation? And remember, this is only micro four thirds lenses. Imagine the full frame one. And that is why quick access is not really quick if you use all the compartments in your backpack. It becomes a trouble to reach the item in the middle compartment and the next flaw is when you pack to its full capacity let's say you have used up all the space in your top compartment see what's going on here it's not really protective it's not waterproof anymore it's not thief proof anybody can reach the hand inside and take your stuff the rain can get inside and ruin your stuff. That is why you should never pack too much in this so-called everyday backpack. And the next thing that's gonna happen if you pack too much is you're gonna get shoulder pain and back pain. The naked weight of this bag is already about 1.7 kilograms. That's heavy. Now let me wrap this video up for you. The conclusion is this bag it's good for traveling, but not on location use. It's good for if you want to take your camera gear on the plane, then that's good. If you plan not to take a photo or video, if you plan not to use your camera while carrying this backpack, it's more like a moving backpack than everyday backpack. And this is a peak design everyday backpack 20 liters. Seems to be a bag that fits so much but you should never pack too much because when you do what happens is you lose the quick access functionality you can't get the item in the middle apartment with the bridge it becomes less protective not waterproof not thief proof and it's heavy it's gonna hurt your shoulders and back and that's it for this video from me guys I hope this video would be helpful for those of you considering to buy this everyday backpack by peak design for me i would go with 
everyday sling. This is more like this is more like everyday bag for me. And they also fit lenses and cameras. And I mean, it's not a perfect bag still. There's flaw in it, but I've managed to fix that flaw. Click the video in the end of this video to see how I fixed it. If you have found this video helpful in some ways, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Mel Comson, and I'll see you in the next video.